Hello, my name is Snorf, and I'm bringing you another Wii U News Roundup video onto my channel. In this video, I'm going to be rounding up all of the latest Wii U news. So the first piece of news, or the first game that I'm going to be covering within this video is Splatoon. On Thursday or Friday, some more screenshots of Splatoon got released by Nintendo. And I spotted a few things in those screenshots. Um, so the first screenshot that you should be seeing on screen now is um, one of the new map Skate Park. Now that isn't a um, official name for the map. We don't know any map names yet. I'm just calling it Skate Park just because it does look like a skate park with all of the ramps and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, this map looks really cool. I love the lighting, I love the colours within this screenshot and that's pretty much the same throughout the whole game. I just love the lighting and the colours in the game. The colours stand out, it's like the paint, it just shines in the sunlight. It, just, it looks really, really good, this game does. Um, so the next screenshot that you should be seeing on screen now is one of the new map Adventure Park. Or it's, I'm not sure if it is an adventure park or not now. I think it might just be set in a wood and it's just in a tribal setting. So I'm not sure what to call it. But this is a new map. Again, like the last screenshot, it looks really, really good. Can't wait to play on all of the maps. Um, so the next screenshot shows off some new weapons. So the first and third player using sniper rifles um this got revealed at e3 and um, the sniper weapon got revealed at e3 in a trailer and in a few screenshots as well so that isn't you but the fourth player is holding a paintbrush weapon it's something that we haven't seen before now i'm not sure how the paintbrush will work i'm guessing it will work in a similar way to the roller weapon does um, but we haven't seen any gameplay or any screenshots of the paintbrush weapon being used. Again, this screenshot is on the skate park map. Um, so this is our first look at where one of the teams spawns on this map. And the next screenshot shows off some more new weapons. So the fourth player is holding a longer roller weapon um, than the one that we saw in the E3 trailer. Again, this is on the new Avenger Park map, and it also gives us a look at where one of the teams spawns in on this map. Um, so yeah, the rest of the screenshots that got released, I will be showing them on screen um, whilst I'm reading out some of the single player details now. So we did get some single player details for Splatoon. Now before, we knew that the single player will be Squids versus Octopi. But we didn't know the backstory behind it. And basically the octopi army or the octopus army are underground hoping to take over and invade the squid's world. And basically the squids have done an investigative report from the squid research lab. The protagonist wearing the hero suit travels through this underground world. The octopus army corp built an underground facility to plan their attack on the squid world and basically the squids have to go to the underground world to take out the octopus army. I think it's safe to say that I'm really really looking forward to playing Splatoon. It's definitely my most anticipated Wii U game and I'm just really really looking forward to picking up this game when it does come out. Hopefully it will be released in April and not in June um, if you guys don't know. Um, Splatoon has a quarter to 2015 release date, which is between April to June. So hopefully we will get the game as early as possible. I was hoping that we are going to be getting the game in January, but unfortunately we have to wait until at least April. On to some Amiibo news now, and the third and fourth wave of Amiibo have been announced for Japan. And the third wave of Amiibo, which will be launching in Japan on the 22nd of January, will include Lucario, Rosalina, Bowser, Toon Link, Sheik, 
Ike, Meta Knight and King DDD. And in February, Shulk, Sonic and Mega Man will be released. Let them know your thoughts about these Amiibo in the comment section below. I think two Link and Bowser look really good as well as Sheik. Um, but I am I'm just waiting for a um inkling um amiibo from Splatoon. I think it'd be really cool if um Nintendo did do one of the inkling characters from Splatoon. And I think Nintendo should do an amiibo of your me. I think that would be pretty cool as well. Um now we are coming to the end of the um Super Smash Brothers um roster. So they don't have um, many more amiibo figures to announce from the Super Smash Bros. roster so we might hear about some more new um, amiibo that aren't related to Super, uh, Super Smash Bros. We now have release dates for the new amiibo in America and Europe and all of the figures will be releasing in America in February 2015 and in Europe on the 23rd of January, Rosalina, Bowser, Lucario, Toon Link, Sheik and Ike will be released on the 21st of January, like I said. And on the 20th of February, Shulk, Sonic, Mega Man and King DDD will be released. So yeah, we've now got some release dates for those new Amiibo um for America and Europe. It's quite funny how we're getting announcements of new Amiibo when the first lineup of Amiibo hasn't even come out yet. Um, so we're just getting bombarded with Amiibo at this moment in time. Out of the new Amiibo that have been announced today, Sheik, Two Link and Zelda will be compatible with Hyrule Warriors and Two Link will be compatible with Mario Kart 8 as well. And we also got some more details about Amiibo. And it seems like Amiibo can only write data to one game at a time. Now basically at this moment in time, the only game that writes data to Amiibo is Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. Games like Hyrule Warriors and Mario Kart 8 only read data from Amiibo. It doesn't write data to the Amiibo. At this moment in time, it's only Super Smash Brothers. But if there is another game that is released that can write data to the Amiibo, if you do write data to the Amiibo from that new game, it means that the data that you um, stored from Super Smash Brothers will get wiped out. It will get deleted. Um, so let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. Um, it seems that you can only write data from one um, game at a time. Now what this suggests to me is that Nintendo could release new sets of Amiibo every time a new game um, comes out which can write data to the Amiibo. I think that's what Nintendo will do. I think they will release new sets of Amiibo for each game that can write data to the Amiibo. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. Um, on to some Project Cars news now, and last week or a few weeks ago now, um, Slightly Mad Studios released a few screenshots from the game, and it shows off the fact that you can actually use go-karts in the game. I'm really looking forward to using them in Project Cars. Now, it must be said that I don't think these screenshots are from the Wii U version at all. They're probably taken from the PC version of the game. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to playing with the go-karts in the Wii U version. And the last piece of news that I have to cover in this video is that Miyamoto has said that the company is working on more spin-off titles like Hyrule Warriors to help improve the flow of Wii U software. He says that by doing this, it allows customers to experience Nintendo franchises without having to wait three years for the next instalment. Miyamoto also said that they are working with a number of third party developers to outsource their creations. It seems like to me that Nintendo will be using spin-off titles so that the Wii U doesn't suffer from any software droughts next year. 
Miyamoto did specifically say that um, there will be an abundance of major titles um, and he says that next year's Wii U titles are plentiful so I'm really excited about the fact that there is going to be more spin-off titles just because I really liked Hyrule Warriors. I definitely think it would be cool if Nintendo did team up with Tecmo Koei again and did a Fire Emblem and Warriors or a Kid Icarus Warriors. I think that would be pretty cool. Let me know any of your ideas for more spin-off games in the comment section below. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to talk about within this Wii U News Roundup video. If you guys did find this video enjoyable or useful, then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because it really does help my channel out. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more Wii U related content. There should be an annotation on screen now if you are watching this video on a PC. But if you are watching this video on a tablet or a smartphone, then there will be a link to subscribe to my channel in the description and um, so yeah that's pretty much all we're going to talk about within this video i'm out of here for now goodbye